Hello and welcome to Potion Explosion in about 3 minutes. This is a game for 2 to 4 players. There is no solo mode. Playing time is around 30 minutes. It's a reasonably simple game. If you're late to potions class one more time this month, Professor Humble Score is likely to turn you into a rat, or worse, make you clean out the cauldrons after school. You need to mix up a battery of potions, using the right ingredients and of course, magical assistance at the right time. You and your friends are aspiring wizards and only one can be head of the class this year. You win this game by having the most points at the end of the game. Each potion is worth the victory points shown on them. When you make your fifth different potion type, you gain a merit badge worth victory points. You also gain a merit badge whenever you complete a third potion of a type. The game ends when the merit badges run out. Competitive. Each player is trying to be the best potion maker and only one can win. Set collection. Potions are completed by getting matching colored marbles in the right slots. Player turn. At the start of the game you set up the potion dispenser by pouring the marbles in the top. On your turn you can take one marble from the dispenser and use any number of potions. Any marbles that roll down and contact a marble of the same color are removed. In this example we remove this red marble which will cause the other two red marbles to touch, meaning you collect them as well. These red marbles are then placed on the red available spots on the two potions, with the spear going on one of the three spaces in your flask. Next turn, we pull this black marble, causing the three yellows to connect. We remove and place them, which completes one of our potions. We immediately select a new potion to replace the completed one. Our third turn is more complex. We use a little help token, which allows us to remove one black marble without causing an explosion at the cost of two victory points. We then remove this yellow marble, triggering a chain reaction. We grab our saved marbles from the flask and then use some potions. First, the love potion allows us to steal marbles from another player's flask. We then use the prismatic potion to make all our marbles count as any color for this turn. We complete both potions and gain two new ones. Each of the different potions has a different effect. For example, this one allows you to take a different colored marble from each of the bottom rows of the dispenser. You keep playing until you run out of merit badges and then end the game when all players have had the same number of turns. Why would you like this game? Potion Explosion is easy to teach and learn, and the core gameplay is very simple. But that doesn't mean there isn't strategy and brain power involved. The combination of pattern recognition skills for seeing what pools will yield what results, and the use of potions and little help tokens makes for a game that can have some pretty deep thinking. In each game there are only 6 of the available 8 potions in play, randomly deciding which ones to use shakes up the game a little each time. And of course, you can't go past the wonderful tactile aspect of physically dropping marbles and moving them about. The hands-on nature of this game will really appeal to some people. The single best thing about this game is when you spot a complex and rewarding chain reaction and end up with a pile of marbles. Who cares if you can't use them all? However, some people might find this game not much more than a multiplayer analog version of Candy Crush and other phone app games, and there's no denying it has a similar feeling gameplay. I also feel the game needed more variety in its potions and game modes, but that's almost entirely addressed by the first expansion. For another simple to learn, hard to master puzzle game, you could try Azul. Or if you want to graduate to advance potion making, you could check out Alchemists. And now for some bonus content. I'll quickly run through what's in the expansion. First of all, you have this cauldron containing the fifth element represented by white marbles. These marbles start the game in the cauldron and can only be collected using in-game effects, which allow you to swap a marble from your hand with one from the cauldron. White marbles can count as any other type you choose in potions and in the dispenser. Next we have four new potion types, taking the total to 12. The left two have marble manipulation abilities, and the right two are directly tied to the cauldron. Having 12 potions when you use six per game seems to be the sweet spot for this game in terms of variety. The game also introduces new positive tokens, which you get for using the cauldron, and negative tokens, which are used by the professors. And there are seven professors, and you can use them to change the overall rules of the game. This one allows you to swap an ingredient from your flask to the cauldron for a white marble if your flask is full at the end of your turn. And this one causes you to lose a victory point if you drop a marble during your turn. You can use none, one, or two of them to change the overall feel of the game. It's a good expansion because it adds variety in play modes without compromising what made the original game a lot of fun. But I'd really only recommend it if you think you are going to be playing an awful lot of Potion Explosion. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.